I don't even know. I, don't, I really don't even know what she said. What's up, YouTube? My name is Alyssa. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Yo, I got so much energy right now. I got so much energy. Anyway, good morning. I'm just kidding. It's like 7 p.m. What time is it? 7.30. All right, so today, this evening, we are packing for Florida. I ordered a tripod last night on Amazon because my $6 one broke. Thank God it was time because I wasn't gonna let that one go until it broke. I got my OG tripod back again finally. This is literally the best tripod out there so we got it. I just don't know why it's so difficult to open the damn thing. Y'all have so much energy. Uh, Y'all can tell. I feel like at the end of this I'm gonna be like dead. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like what happened to the beginning, Alyssa? She's dead now. We're gonna get this on and pop in. Look at me. Look at me using all my energy to open it quickly. Look at that. That was literally the fastest I've ever opened this. Ah! I'm so excited. Okay. So if y'all don't know, this is the tripod that most likely all your favorite YouTubers use. Oh, I'm gonna put this on now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yes. Are you judging me? He is. Y'all hear the dryer? I don't know if you do, but hi, baby. This is Polka, my nephew. He loves kisses. He'll literally just sit there and let you kiss him like all day. The dryer is drying <laughs> my clothes. Once my clothes are done out the dryer, I'm going to start packing. But I'm going to give you guys a mini. You got energy out of nowhere? Ow! We don't bite. Gentle. Ah, ah, ah. Don't even start. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a Target haul. Oh, I've missed this tripod so much. Ooh, she's. Ooh. The main thing that I'm excited about is these packing cubes that I got from Target. You're so nosy. You're so handsome. Okay. If I made enough time, I would have got pink ones on Amazon. But it's okay. These are still cute. There's, I think it comes with a shoe bag and then a large, medium, and small cube. So we're going to pack with these and see what the hype is about. And then I got a new eyeliner. This is from LA Girl. I've never used this, so I don't know how it is, but I'll let you know. I did a repurchase on my mascara that I use. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Dope. Okay. What else? Oh, and then I got, um, you know... <laughs> the essentials, you know. Gummy Mountain Dew. And then I got this cute little lavender hand sanitizer. I don't know why. I just love everything like mini. Especially like when it has a little pump. It's just the little things. I don't know. So that's going in the car and so is this. I am driving tomorrow. Surprise. If y'all are not new here, you already know. Like I've been driving to and from Tampa and Atlanta since I moved over a year ago. Almost two years ago now. That's crazy. Y'all, in two months, it would have been two years since I graduated high school. <laughs> I don't know. I'm proud of how, you know, far I've come though. So that's exciting. But my makeup is a little light. I think I need to get a new concealer. But anyway, yeah, me and Jade are driving separately. We're both driving to Tampa. Her family just recently moved to Tampa as well, which is really convenient. So we basically just are going to start visiting family together at the same time. We're taking two separate cars, which you're like, why? <laughs> Why y'all both gotta drive? Yeah, um, Jade is taking polka and he's not allowed in my car because I got black seats and he sheds white and just, no. I just got my car cleaned. I want my own car as well. Like, I want to have my own way of transportation when I'm there. So, I'm just going to bring... It's fine. I've done that drive so many times. It's fine. So, we're leaving at like 6, 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. I need to get gas. I need to pack. And I think that's really... It. I just wanted to start the video. Yeah, that's it. I'm watching Beta's video on my iPad while I fold the towels and blankets. I don't know. I hate folding blankets, so I'm gonna make Jade do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot to record me bringing the clothes, and I'm not gonna redo it. So, <sighs> boom. Okay, I knew it wasn't my eyesight that time. I need to separate everything and like fold it before I start figuring out what I want to pack. Because it's not only this that I want to pack, or at least part of it. But like I have stuff in my closet that's clean. Like I want to bring my jean jacket and like a dress or two. Like there's some stuff that's hung up that I want to bring. And all my accessories and shoes. <sighs> 
It's like I like packing, but I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also, I need to get gas, and I hate eating gas at night. I could just get it in the morning. That's what I usually do anyway. That's like one extra stop that I have to make, you know? We'll see how I'm feeling. Either way, I'm gonna get my gas. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I did it again. No! I procrastinated again. I mean, it's not that late, but like it is kind of late. It's almost coming up on my bedtime. I still got makeup on. I still got a pile of clothes right here. And I don't have one thing packed. <laughs> it's not that serious, but I like to get good sleep before I'm about to drive almost seven hours tomorrow. And not only that, but at 6 a.m. My hair looks amazing. Oh my gosh so overwhelmed it's okay we're just gonna get this done so i can go to bed i'm gonna watch something because i just can't i will fall asleep with this music on right here on this bed Ooh. grace can break me my battery's flashing and i don't even know if i got another charged one I didn't even think about charging my batteries. I might be back. I might not. Nonsense. Period. I just changed. I'm now, come on. I'm now in a rush mode because I'm trying to go to bed. So I just opened the packing cubes and I have a small one, a medium. Oh, this is the big one. Whatever. I got my packing cubes and then the shoe bag. Usually I'm pretty good at like planning outfits, but for some reason I have no outfit and it's stressing me out because I like to just have bits. That way I don't need to think like I could just grab what I need. I don't know. I'm just about to overpack like always. So I'm just grabbing basics that I can kind of pair with everything. Bring some leather pants. Okay, I don't know why this is stressing me out so much. I really think it's because I don't have outfits and I always have outfits. I don't know. Those are literally just clean clothes. Like, it's not coordinated. So. I should be fine, though. Should be. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a couple purses. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I literally feel so overwhelmed right now. Let's just get this started. I'm only gonna be there for, like, I think four days. I'm definitely gonna overpack. And I might even have to... Nah, I could definitely fit everything in this because I did for the cruise. And I have a whole car, so like I could just put my extra stuff in there. But usually when I, oh, I forget. Last time, I just put all my shoes and purses in here. So worst case scenario, I could just do that. We're going to start with the big one. We're going to do hoodies and jeans, the big stuff in here. Let's see. I'm going to test, like how much can fit in here for real? Because this thing can get pretty big. We're going to see. First things first, this big ass hoodie. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, maybe not. I think I'm going to put this in the, this bag. We're going to just. Oh wait, I saw this like hack or whatever of like how to fold jeans and I guess you put them like this and then you just go like this like fold them up fold them up and then fold them over Just like that period. This shit has no depth to it. Okay There's that and then I have this pair Okay <gasps> Oh, I have another pair of sweats Okay, I'm gonna literally try to put, hold on, I'm about to switch tripods because y'all can't even see me. Oh, hell no. Well, now y'all can't, whatever. <laughs> y'all get the gist. I'm literally gonna try to like pack these to the brim. Then I have this vest and then I have this, which is my little one piece that I always be wearing. I have yet to get pictures in that outfit, like with the, the blue glasses and the denim purse. So I'm probably gonna bring that, which means I need to bring my jean jacket. I was honestly planning on wearing the vest with the jumpsuit but i'm not gonna do that so i'm not gonna bring it because it's too big like no we got all the denim in this packing cube oh my gosh i am never going back to no packing cubes what this literally would have took up the whole damn thing and honestly i could probably stack this with the other cube Okay, I low-key could probably fit like one or two more things. So I'm gonna try to find all the pants. So like leggings, I'm honestly not gonna wear these. I already know. I got these little flowy pants. Oh wait, I forgot about this. Okay, but and then this is a bathing suit cover up. I don't even know. I mean, I might go to the beach. So I'm only gonna bring like two bathing suits and just in case. Child, that is not gonna fit. Babe. I'm not gonna lie, this is literally just as big as my suitcase. gonna make it work i don't care it's literally as big as my suitcase 
We're just gonna, we're just gonna use the big suitcase. Let's do this. I'm trying to hurry up. It's literally like 10 something at night and I need to go to bed. There we go. Okay, that's better. I like to clean my room and like have a clean room before I go out of town. But every time I pack late at night, I don't clean before I go to bed. But I really want to clean before I go to bed because it feels so good coming home to a clean crib. Well, I'm wasting time sitting here. So, so for the medium one, I'm going to put like PJs and I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter. Leather pants. I have this dress just in case I go out. Some jean shorts. I need more packing cubes. I'm not bringing those. I'll bring one thing of workout clothes. I don't really have a place to work out down there, so. These are two dress up shirts. I'm literally not gonna wear this. Like, I just know I'm not. I be on chill shit. Like, I just be wearing chill clothes. PJ short. This tiny ass. No. I feel like the packing cubes need to all be the same size. Like, this is stressing me out. Okay, I'm gonna try to put as many tank tops as I can in here. And then I also have a bodysuit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. These packing cubes, as little as they look, I feel like they can hold more than you think. Yeah, like, the fact that this is... I mean, it's a little fat, but, you know, it's holding a lot. Then we're gonna do... Honestly, I'm gonna put stuff on top of the cubes, too. Just some more PJs, another t-shirt. It's low-key gonna be a little bit cold, so I'm gonna bring a jacket or two but not in the um suitcase because it's not gonna fit i guess i'll just put my underwear and socks in here y'all gotta see that bye bye i low-key have made a lot more progress a lot faster than i thought i would because of them cubes i have this shoe bag and i have a little bit of space in my suitcase which never happens right here in this corner so we're gonna try to squeeze as many shoes in here as possible not looking too good because my feet are big as <laughs> I'm gonna bring my Converse, my slides, and these dunks that I literally go with everything. And they're just a little bit cuter than forces, so I don't even know how this is about to. Oh, and my heels. I'm not wearing these to the club. These old lady ass short shoes. No, 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 no. Hold on. I need to get my other heels. These heels are so much cuter. They've been through. A lot. <laughs> They've been through a lot. I'm gonna put these in first. Squish together real good. I don't know which way. My feet are so big. Oops, okay, now, yo. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's do the dunks first this way. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to go to bed. Bro, this can literally maybe fit two pairs of shoes this way. So these, not bad. And then the heels. <laughs> Sold y'all, two pairs. I'm gonna try though, I don't care. I'm stubborn and I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but look at that. It fits. Bow. Okay, I'm gonna put these in between because they should fit this. Look at this. We got the shoes and the extra shoes, the underwear. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, now we gotta go to the... Well, I'm gonna put my bathing suits in here right quick. And then we're gonna go to the bathroom and pack all the hygiene things, which I honestly wish I did first, but it's fine. This is such a cute bathing suit. I got it off of Shein, cover up, and then just a black regular one. Okay, that's that. I want to see if room for more stuff, but that's just the overpacker in me. I mean, I literally do have room, but doesn't mean I need to utilize it. Puts more stuff. That's not bad, honestly. Well, if I'm bringing this, then I can put purses and accessories. I don't think I have anything red in there. But I do have my orange dress, so I got my orange shades, and I got the rest of the fit. I'm going to put them in my purse. And then I have other shades in my tote bag that I'm going to bring. These I'm going to wear. No, I'm not. I'm going to wear these slippers. I'm literally going to wear this on the road trip. Like, I'm not going to actually sleep in it because I'm, like, sleeping in long clothes. But I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Honestly, my room's not that bad. I just have to put away the rest of the clean clothes that I didn't pack. I'm going to do that real quick, and then we could do the hygiene stuff. I really don't know where to start. Just do the makeup. Thank you. 
the way he Putting my hair products in here. Ow. Let me take this off. Yo, I was able to just take everything out of that bag and fit it in there because I had extra room. I also have my, basically my work bag and my tote bag already packed. So I'm ready. Oh, my headphones for editing. I'm tripping. Let's put them in my purse. I'm basically done. I am done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I just have everything right here so I know to like grab it, use it, put it back, and that's it. I'm gonna leave this open until the morning so I can just put that in here and then just zip it up and dip. I will be the only one driving to Florida tomorrow. Jay's gonna go on Friday instead, so not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. It's fine. I'm tired. You could tell that my energy is back down. I knew this would happen. I told y'all this would happen. I'm charging my batteries. They will be charged by the morning. And then I'll most likely, I'll honestly just add like the road trip footage into this video too. Because I don't really know how long this is going to be. And y'all been asking for longer videos. So I'm going to just start combining stuff. I'm ready to go to bed. It's like, oh my gosh, it's only 10.30. I was literally in my head. I was like, okay, be in bed by like 11, 11.30. I'm happy about that. Period. I need oh my makeup. I need to take my makeup off. But then I'm ready for bed. And this necklace. Wow. I've missed a solid good tripod. I took it for granted when I had it. I'm definitely excited to go visit home again. It's been a minute, honestly. And I'm honestly happy that it's not as late as I thought. Like 10:30, that's not bad. I'll be asleep by like 11. I honestly am not gonna be surprised if that necklace gets tangled because I just shoved it in the bottom of that bag. <laughs> It's hot. And I'm wearing a long sleeve. Girl. My makeup looks really good. I don't like how my lashes be falling. But, I mean, in person it looks better. It's just on camera it's not as like, you know? But the skin, the foundation. Well, not actual foundation. I don't wear foundation. But, you know what I'm saying? The base. The base looks good. I contoured before I concealed. And I think I'm going to start doing that. Because that ate. Oh, also, I have like... Okay, this is kind of weird. I don't really plug my Instagram on my YouTube channel the way I feel like I should. But first of all, I be eating them fits up and face card never declines, okay? If you don't follow my Instagram, you should follow my Instagram. Alyssa A. Howard. The only reason I'm bringing this up now is because I have been at 108,000 for like three months. Like, I feel like Instagram is just tripping because you know how you'll get notifications and it'll be like, oh, this person and this amount of people followed you. I will get that and it'll be like 150 people like okay so why is it not going up to like you know what i'm saying i don't know i feel like instagram is tweaking but then again people could just be unfollowing me i don't know it's just a very long amount of time to be at the same number i sound very ungrateful and i don't mean for that to go off like this i'm just confused because the num like the math ain't mathing basically the math literally isn't mathing so i just wanted to test it out and see because if y'all comment and say that you followed me and i get a lot and it's still at 108 i'm gonna call up instagram and be like yo what's going on so I hope that didn't come off as bad as it probably sounded, but I just want to test it out. Go follow me if you don't follow me on Instagram, and let's see what the heck is going on. Not that it matters. Numbers do not matter, but, you know, it's just been at that exact number for so long. It's kind of weird. Anyway, I'm going to brush my teeth, and then it's time to go to bed. Finally. Okay. Good night. <laughs> I don't know why I be sleeping with this rainbow ass light. Oh my gosh. It like always hits me right when it's time to go that I'm about to fucking drive for like a long time. And it sounds like so much work when I first wake up, but okay, yeah, this shit is pissing me off. Okay, I'm about to, um, yeah, come on. Ugh. 604. Oh my god, the only thing I hate about waking up this early is that it's so cold outside. It's like 30 degrees outside, bro. And to some of y'all, that might not be cold, which how, but to me. I'm about to put
put this hoodie in the dryer that's what i do every time and it works good enough but i'm not gonna start it until like i'm literally about to leave because it cools down too fast so we're gonna make coffee brush our teeth let's just go i don't got time to explain y'all will see like okay come on or We're just gonna go because it's 6 15 and I'm gonna stop at the gas station anyway So I'm gonna get coffee and like probably donuts or something there or I might stop at Chick-fil-A And get a sandwich and coffee there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, let's leave Okay, let's go before this shit is not warm anymore <laughs> gosh i never got an oil change here go my battery hold up hold up i moved my tripod thing in my car well i didn't move it i just put it back on but i put it on like kind of low but i kind of like it low all right <gasps> please tell me i have my glasses oh shoot oh yeah i do okay it's 6 25 honestly that's not bad well uh, i've done better let's Leave. Let's go get gas. Where's my wallet? Probably in here too. Gotta check though. Okay, it's in here. Here we go. Let me text mom. Even though she's not awake. On the way. Well, to the gas station. Then on the way. Okay, so I think we should go to... Let me think. I think we should go to the gas station. That's right across from Chick-fil-A. That we, you know, we could just do it right there. All right, I don't like filming in here. Bye. I'm excited. Hey, good morning, Good morning. My name's Alyssa. Alyssa, I'm here to you. Um, can I get the number one meal, but can I add American cheese and bacon on that? Alrighty, what's the drink? And then a uh, vanilla iced coffee. Alrighty, what else can I get you? Can I get grape jelly and Chick-fil-A sauce? Grape jelly and Chick-fil-A, alrighty, what else can I get you? That'll be all. Alrighty, Alyssa, that's all that will be. Okay, thank you. Thank you. She matched my energy. I love that. She was real nice at 6 a.m. Go you. Hello, yes. 1051. There you go. Thank you. Thank Have you. You too. Bag secure. He was kind of cute. But like he was giving adorable and not like fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, hold on. I need a second to... Well, I could do it at the gas station. But like I have stuff in my lap as we speak. So hold up. Put the water bottle somewhere else. Oh! I hate doing that. Every time I leave Chick-fil-A, it does that sh Ooh, Waffle House would've been buzz, but Waffle House takes too long. Plus, like, some stuff when you're driving is not easy to eat whatsoever, and that is one of them. Okay, I'm about to bust a Yui. Wee. Damn, that gas station is active. Why is there so many people here? I'm gonna stay rolling so I don't get abducted. Ew, there's so many men in trucks and vans. Ew, y'all. It's okay. I got y'all and you guys are my safety net, honestly. So, like, for real. Like, nobody's gonna come up to a girl who's recording. You would think. I don't know. Oh, 
I thought I had my card all up in the camera. Let's do it. Oh, I gotta turn the car off. Bro, all men have to do is literally breathe and I'm side-eyeing. <laughs> I don't play, bro. And neither do, you know, my spirit team, my angels, my higher power, God, universe. It's kind of all the same to me personally. But they don't play about me. And I'm very divinely protected and I know that. But it's still like, just, I don't know. I just gotta let go and trust. That's the biggest thing that I've already learned, but I'm learning again in different aspects. Just let go and just release control because once you release control that's when god will pull up and be like all right since you trust me here here's what you wanted control of so bad or here's an alternative since this is not for you i hope that made sense i don't know where i just started a fucking morning preach at 6 30 a.m but okay okay let's get her done why do i keep saying that honestly I probably should take off my hoodie because, well, it'll be cold for a long time. I'll be fine. I just feel like I'm always wearing this hoodie. I am always wearing this hoodie, but. So before we pull off, I'm going to prepare my breakfast and make it as easy for me as possible while I'm driving. If y'all haven't had Chick-fil-A's vanilla iced coffee, bro, it is so good. Like, actually, it don't make no sense. Damn, I don't know where my sauce thing is at. I used to have a sauce tray in my car. I don't even know where it went. Like, I really don't know where it went. That would have been clutch. It's okay, I have this little side pocket here. And that's usually where I put my stuff. And then I have the um, hash browns with the jelly. And then the Chick-fil-A sauce with the sandwich. It's a whole thing, a whole concoction. I'm excited. Hash browns are easy, of course. It's just kind of like a dip and go type of thing. I'm gonna put my Mountain Dew in the purse. I'm gonna go. I just feel like there's no point right now. So. Give me I put the sauce in the sandwich so it's not dry as hell while I'm eating it. It's giving hella biscuit right now. Like they put hella biscuit. It's okay. Anyway, we're about to go, finally. It says right now my ETA is 1.14, but that's definitely gonna change because I have to stop for gas one other time. Excuse me. Anyway. Oh, sh I can't even go that way. Oh, well. I love how empty the roads are right now. Mm-hmm. Very good. Ooh, it's dry. Yeah, I don't really have much to say right now, honestly. I'll see y'all in a little. I've officially started my drive, though. I'll be on the highway in like a couple minutes. I forgot I could turn on red. <laughs> I'll update y'all in a little bit. Love you. because here we go it's literally only been like 20 minutes by the way <laughs> not even maybe like 10 i forgot that the time changed and i'm not used to driving in the dark still i'm excited for the sunrise anyway that's not what i was gonna say traffic coming up of course i forgot what i was gonna say oh okay so right now like i'm really focused on being present i feel like i used to really be present and like every single day i would just be taking it day by day taking life day by day even hour by hour like i was literally just living life in the present moment and that honestly it just feels so good and like it makes you so much more grateful for what you have in front of you so i've been practicing being present <clears throat> as of recently because you know i kind of haven't been i've been real focus on the future or the past whatever not really the past because you can't change that shit but anyway i just wanted to like share wow there's literally traffic right now no 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 <laughs> i'm so annoying but no there's like hella traffic oh it has to be an accident i see lights i can't really oh that's 12 that's crazy that was an undercover cop car his blinker is red and blue i didn't even know they could do that but i'm pretty sure you know how i turned off that light because i don't even think that's illegal but my mom 
growing up told me that it was probably because she just couldn't see so no i'm not gonna lie the undercover cop car with that red and blue blinker just threw me off i'm not even gonna lie like i was just like wait what that scared me anyway never mind no traffic but i'm still gonna talk to y'all because yeah but yeah like being present is so imperative because bro i was looking okay i journaled about this yesterday but i saw like a beyonce edit of basically her whole life like growing up and like singing and whatever and i don't know why like i'd be thinking what other people don't think usually or maybe i don't know but in my head i was like damn like i wonder like if beyonce ever what the heck is it called like reminisces or like thinks about her childhood or her past and then i started thinking about mine and i'm like i don't really remember as much because i wasn't really present and so then i was like well i definitely want to teach my kids to like be present in the present moment throughout their whole life because it's just so beautiful like i don't know how to explain it and this is your reminder to stay present and don't worry about the future too much don't worry about the past definitely don't worry about the past the past is in the past you can't change it it's over it happened whatever everything happens for a reason you'll be all right but the future like of course you could think about it and stuff and like manifest and just kind of like plan for the future a little bit but don't like live in the future and don't think 90 percent of your time in the future like really try to stay present i when i tell you before i turn on the camera i was so just like happy singing my SZA and driving like just being really present and it just feels so good so i just wanted to share that and let you guys know just you know i challenge you to practice staying present let me know how it works let me know how it is because i know you're gonna love it okay back to SZA. Oh. there's so much traffic there's definitely an accident and honestly i don't know how long this is gonna take because usually when there's an accident depending on how new it is or whatever they have to like clean up the whole thing and then like the backup has to go like the backup traffic i don't know i'm not gonna lie i'm prepared to be sitting here for like 20 minutes honestly it was time for this to happen to me because i'm not gonna lie like there's been a couple i think almost every time that it's always been on the other side like coming the other way and i've been like damn could it be me but now it's me <laughs> we're inching so at least we're not stopped which makes me feel a lot better because honestly if it was a accident like a bad one we probably wouldn't even be moving but i have a feeling that it's probably just one or two lanes open and that's why it's backed up right now i'm honestly already starting to get tired of hearing music but i have my ipad that i can connect to my car to watch netflix <laughs> it's given tesla <laughs> and then i have like podcasts and stuff i can listen to i have a lot of stuff that i can do safely while driving you are probably like girl safely why are you watching netflix while driving it's really not that bad especially when i have it like stationary i could just kind of look it it's not 
I know what I'm doing. Trust me, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think it was safe. I have five hours and 28 minutes left of driving. Probably a little bit less, let's be honest. I'm a speed demon, so <laughs> I'll get there before 1.15, but well, honestly, probably not because I have to stop. I'm most likely gonna have to stop to pee in like the next hour or two. I realized I never peed this morning, so I just drank a whole thing of coffee and some of my Mountain Dew, and I've been drinking water, so it's bound to come any minute. Um, I'm not hungry, so I don't, I probably won't stop for food, honestly, just gas towards the end. I don't know, there's not much to talk about right now, so people just keep slamming on their brakes because I don't know why, but they trying to go somewhere that we can't go. Like, what? But yeah, the time just keeps adding up. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a minute. <sighs> well, this is the time where I wish I had service on my iPad, and I think I can add service on my iPad, so I'm probably going to, honestly, because right now, my iPad doesn't have service, so it has to be on Wi-Fi for it to work. Either that or, like, a hotspot. So I have to use my hotspot to watch stuff on my iPad, or I could just watch it on my phone. It's a bigger screen, you know? I wonder how far I am from the Florida like border oh bitch we still got a minute i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> we're only about halfway through georgia maybe a little less so we still have probably like two and a half hours in georgia and then like three hours in florida or three and three i don't know it doesn't matter we're far <laughs> okay i'm done talking i just know editing Alyssa is really pissed off right now so um i'm gonna go for the sake of her. Same thing goes with flowers. Same thing even goes with like the water. Different oceans look different in different places. God is a God of creativity and there are always different forms of things that he creates. And that's the same with us. That's the same with your family or your coworkers or even your children. You know, people have children and they're like, this child is nothing like the next and it's like- Bro, who and is telling design. these big ass trucks to just get in the fast lane? Like who told you that was okay? Like, I just really wanna know. Come on, golden hour. This is probably really bad, but I know I'm not, I can't be the only one. You know when you like sit in traffic or sit in something because of an accident, and then by the time you get to the scene, there's no scene, and then you're like, I just sat in there for no reason. That's kind of how I feel right now. And I'm not gonna lie, that's not the first time that I've been like, damn, like, I wish I at least saw it. Like, is that bad? I don't know. Like, I hope everyone's okay, of course. And it said it was a minor crash, but like, this traffic ain't minor. So, I don't know, but I need to get over and like it's traffic, so it's kind of difficult. <sighs> and there's so many freaking semi trucks, and I don't want to be behind a semi truck. Like, <sighs> I don't know. I'm I'm gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna miss my exit. The pressure is getting awesome. Okay, back to the podcast. <laughs> to receive his love. It means that she was made to be a receiver in this role. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sick. It's been so long. Look, there's literally two crashes. Hold on. I'm trying to focus. There's two crashes. Y'all see those? Minor crash again. Or major crash. Oh, shit. It's literally so backed up, y'all. It's all the way up there. Like, I've been sitting here in this damn traffic for, like, 30 minutes. I'm about to call my mom or something. Well, she's probably not even awake. It's eight though. She should be. Probably not. I mean, Aria be waking her up early, so she might, I don't know. But I'm literally sitting in traffic. It's adding so much time. Like, it's okay, but damn. I took speeding and just driving in general for granted because now I'm over here doing four miles an hour, slamming on my brakes. My ankle hurts from going back and forth from the gas in the brake. My toes hurt. <laughs> like, look at this. I was listening to the podcast, but my attention span just, I can't. I started watching Titus's YouTube video again because it's just so good. I already saw it yesterday, but I don't know. I'm about to just watch YouTube. There's a lot of videos that I have in my watch later about like self-help and just growing. And I like listening to that stuff. Like I genuinely enjoy learning about how to grow and like things that I didn't know before. Just learning in general is just so powerful and like knowledge is power. So I like to learn as much as I can. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through my watch later. Honestly, there's, I'm gonna show y'all like an example or something. There ain't nothing else to do, shit. This video is called Detach Yourself. It always works out anyway. How to radiate feminine energy to live a soft life. Productivity tips for the soft life girlies. Um, how to fully detach from someone you love. How to not get attached. Damn, okay. How to sit in your femininity. Outgrowing friends and how to handle it. Habits that made me six figures by 24. Everything I wish I knew before starting a business. Things I did to get me where I am 
spiritually like this is what I like to listen to and watch on YouTube of course on top of the vlogs and stuff like that from my co-workers but right now I'm gonna listen to that I'm getting a little bored here is this the accident using this quote if you are a visual oh learner, shit then it's easy to come oh shit oh shit oh my god there's so much stuff figuratively ew the sky I just so, ran something over. And, and all of the storms, all of the cloudy days. Well, it's time to drive again. Period. I'm stopping at the rest area because I need to pee. Y'all, this video, I think it's Lucy Benson. I haven't checked. I, I feel like I could tell just because of her accent, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I am wrong. Brenny, Brenny Lee. I don't know, but this how to fully detach from someone you love video is so good. She's in bro like i would be lying if i said that i was 120 percent healed you know what i'm saying so i like watching these videos to just remind me like a good little reminder so it's just nice to hear things like you know a man's rejection is god's protection and stuff like that it just makes me like period thank you god i'm just blessed to be protected so divinely anyways i'm at the rest area in dooley county <laughs> I don't know. Um, I kind of love rest areas. Like, you literally just pull out and then pull right back onto the highway. Like, it's so convenient. And it's so much better than pulling off of the highway, like, exiting. And then, like, finding the gas station pulling up. You know what I'm saying? I have my trash here. We're going to throw it away. Go pee-pee. Let me bring my taser because I don't even play like that. I don't. Let's go. Oh, no. That's that chicken biscuit. I'm tripping. Oh, look at the birdies. If you're still in school, you know what I'm talking about. But when, like, it's like 7, 8 a.m. And you're, like, waiting at the bus in elementary school. Or, like, about to get dropped off. And it smells like morning. That's what it smells like. Why don't they have the little toilet seaters? And I feel like that should literally be illegal. Now there's two pieces on one side and one on the other side. I'm checking my phone because I haven't been on my phone like all morning. But you know, it ain't nothing new, nothing crazy. That was weird. It's giving morning. That man look like he about to throw up. <laughs> my bad, it's not funny. Okay. Let me take off my hoodie and put my hair up. I'm honestly going to take my rings off. I hate wearing rings with my hair down because every time I touch my hair, it like pulls my hair. I just wanted to bring my rings. I knew I was going to forget if I didn't put them on this morning. I'm going to put them in my wallet. Next to my... <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> How long do I have? Let me see. I have four and a half hours. Go by, trust the process, have hope for the future, which is what I'm going to go into now. And I want to give practical tips. tips. Let's go. Y'all, remember how I said I needed an oil change? My freaking wrench officially has arrived on... Girl, what the... F it has officially arrived... <laughs> or whatever that is. Not dashboard. Speedometer. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. 12. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, we finished ah! school. Around these people. I literally just slammed on my brakes so I could get them on video. <laughs> like, I'm glad I was in this lane. I did not see it close enough at all. Like, I literally just slowed down by like 20 miles per hour. We in Florida with it. Finally, still got three hours to go, so it's fine. My nose hurt. I feel like I've been sleeping on my nose recently, and like, it's just really sore all the time now. But right now, I'm listening slash watching mostly listening though to leo youtube what is his name hold on i'm about to look because i love him like i literally love him leo skeppy on youtube he's so freaking underrated he only has 65k and i really really truly feel like he should have a mill he is godsend bro he's so real and so blunt like listen to the way he talks like he's just like no one's gonna do it but you you gotta get up and do it like stuff like that like he's just very like a best friend type of thing and right now this is the episode of outgrowing friends and how to handle it so that's what i'm listening to honestly i've been listening to him a lot like it's making time 
fly by and I love it. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm over here like talking back to him. Like every time he says some preach, I'm like period, right, right. Like I'm literally talking back to him. I highly suggest that you go check out a couple videos. You'll definitely love him, I'm already knowing. If you love me, you'll love him, I promise. Unless you're sensitive, then you might not like him because he's very straight up. But then that means you wouldn't like me. I don't know, but yeah, he's he's really good. I'm gonna link his channel in the description And then you have to look at am I actually compatible with this person outside of what we were forced to be around each other for like She's a grown woman with children. I was 21 when I graduated. What the fuck business did we have being friends? We're still tight like we still talk Occasionally, like we'll check in on each other. We're not involved in each other's life often, but I still care about her very much. But we're not involved in each other's life heavily anymore. We kind of have, like we literally just went on our own life, and they're not compatible. Like we went in our own direction, and it sucks and it's sad. But it doesn't mean you're like not friends anymore, or you've outgrown them or anything. It's like you're just different. Like once that thing that's gluing you together goes away, you're gonna have to assess: Are we actually compatible? That's just a whole perspective I want to throw at you around friendship because a lot of people aren't really aware of that that's not really much about outgrowing people but that's just one situation where it's okay to leave people behind it's okay to close that chapter of your life and someone can go from like in your day-to-day -day life to not in your life barely at all and you text and you talk on the phone every once in a while a couple months whatever like if she ever called me and needed me I'm there we still have that loyalty and that like love for each other but we don't have compatible life. We're together. Ah, it's easy to get it. I'm not even gonna lie, I gotta run this back, so just listen to what he's about to say. All right, so let's really talk about outgrowing people like for real. So as you have new goals or new desires, you're gonna have to completely change the way you're living your life. And if you're friends with someone, and you're living a certain way, and then you have a, a, a desire for a new thing, or you set a new goal, you're gonna have to completely change everything about your life. That literally fucked me up psychologically many reasons. I went from having so many friends and such a big social life to none. While I was going through it, I was rolling every fucking weekend, like just partying my life away, drinking nonstop. And the people I bonded with, the people were like my party friends or people I saw all the time. I saw them frequently because we were all running from shit. We were all trying to escape our reality. We were all just trying to like feel better and not feel for a second. So when I had the idea to start my app, it required me to change everything about my life. Like I had to stop partying, stop drinking, stop drugging, stop everything because it's very expensive to do that shit. For and real? I needed to save as much money as possible to put it into my app because my app was like $25,000 from damn. start to finish to get everything done. And I'm going to make a podcast episode eventually about everything I wish I knew about business before I started my businesses. Oh, that's in my watch Maybe later. I'm a lot of fucking time and head. <laughs> Ever. I'll talk about my biggest heartbreak with like business too. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> but I, I was love like, it. I need Oh, it's a one way. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Guys, my rings. I don't even know where the other one is. Someday. Oh my gosh, that would have made me literally cry. I'm taking these out. That's not a good idea. Yo, I ran out of freaking storage on my SD card. I have to be so bad. Bro, get your gas. My battery's flashing. Yo, I gotta go. <laughs> this shit is tweaking right now. Okay, I need to switch my battery out. This shit is tweaking right now, so. I don't know if they ran out of gas or something. I don't know. And I need to pee. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. I had to go to a different pump because that shit was tweaking. Like, it wasn't pumping gas. Oh, I have to pee so bad. You must be close to Disney. You gotta be. Where the fuck? Oh, I see. Ah, oh, my battery. I forgot. There's a lot of people at this freaking gas station. I low-key want to get Wendy's, but like, ew, that was, <laughs> I don't know. I have one battery left, y'all. This is still blinking. I haven't changed it yet. I'm not getting Wendy's. Fuck it. I'm almost there. Wee! I love cutting through traffic. It's so dangerous, but I'm good at it. I promise. Guys! Guys! I just missed my exit! Bro, I'm so scared to see 
see how long it's gonna add time, bro. Oh wait, oh my god, it added 10 minutes. Bro, my heart just dropped to my This is what I get for being on my phone! I was so close. Bro, I literally looked up and I saw the sign and I was like, no! I was literally all the way on the left side and I had to be all the way on the right side and there was no way I was gonna make it. I tried. I'm being dramatic, it's not that serious, but damn, like that's 15 extra minutes that I gotta be in this damn car! Bro, my ETA is 2.32 now. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, so maybe I'm avoiding an accident or something, I don't know. Ooh, my boot thing about to call me. Bye! Ah! There's a tire in the road! Okay. Okay. Party! Why? Like, I'm so close, and there's a fucking pile up. I'm pretty sure this is a bridge too. That's exciting. Jade is also on the way, by the way. She um, she's like five hours away. She's been driving for like two hours or le less than two hours. I really have to pee, and I'm trying not to think about it because there's so much traffic right now. Basically, all the way there, which is crazy. Yeah. Oh, there's a crash. Of course, that's why. It says I'm 20 minutes away, but nine miles away. Like I should be there in 15, but anyway. I got my windows down. It feels good as heck outside. The UV is high. Like, I want to tan, bro. There's pretty much literally nothing going on now besides, um, this. Back to nudie. <laughs> oh, it's over. Oh,